In 2015, more than 300 inmates at the Albany County Jail reported using heroin or opioids. And in October of last year, the county started a new program to help inmates get clean. On News and ABC's Trishna Bangham visited the county jail to see how well the program is working. Trishna. John, Lydia, the SHARP program is turning the county jail into a treatment facility. After taking a tour through that jail, I looked at the numbers to see how many inmates enrolled in that program and how many have come back to jail to find out just how effective this new drug really is. No one wants to end up here. Yet Brian Morrell did, unable to break heroin's grip. So I became a heroin user in prison. In prison. In prison. But it was in prison he got one last shot of getting clean and eventually getting out. So really I was more saved than arrested. He was sent here, one of the handful of county jails offering a Vivitrol program. We always keep our pharmacy locked. Which many believe is the key to breaking the opioid addiction. This is the medication. And then our goal is, is to get people on Vivitrol and get them out. The sheriff says 60% of the inmates here end up returning. 9% of them have a drug problem, like Brian, who's been in and out of jail for drug-related crimes since he was 17. <laughs> but the last time he was in jail, he was able to enter into the sheriff's heroin addiction and recovery program known as SHARP. It sets up around 20 nonviolent prisoners in their own wing. The Addiction Care Center of Albany comes in every day to do peer-to-peer -peer counseling. From my vantage point, it looks like a solution. Dennis Mosley is the Sharp Group coordinator. Someone who wants it doesn't get you high. And according to the makers of the drug, Vivitrol blocks opioid receptors. Basically, it blocks the pleasurable feeling someone gets when taking a drug. It's also a non-narcotic. Dennis says users can't get addicted. Unlike Suboxone, another heroin treatment option which some users sell back on the street. The first thing a guy in a, one of the struck guys in the group asked, you know, what kind of street value did it have? First thing he was thinking about was, what is the street value? But with Vivitrol, you're, you're not going to get high. So it'd be like throwing your money away. But there's a catch. Vivitrol is very expensive. Each shot, which lasts a month, costs more than $900. But the sheriff says compare that to the cost of incarceration at $70,000 a year. And the program is well worth it. I don't have a craving for it. Brian says it worked for him and many other inmates. According to the sheriff, since October, 87 people have gone through Sharp and only nine inmates have returned. That's a success rate of nearly 90 percent. It's again a, a, almost like a wonder drug. Inmates who are eligible like Brian get the shot before they're released. I've had two so far. He was released this past May, and he's managed to stay outside of these jail walls. Yeah, I have my family back behind me. I guess they see a change, so I feel like I'm definitely doing something right. Brian plans to stay in treatment until he's finally able to lock up his demon of addiction. Even today, he is still out of jail. Here's the Good. interesting part. The sheriff has promised some of these inmates, if they manage to stay clean, that they can actually come back to the jail and get a job there if they want to work there. So he's trying to work with the inmates. Uh, as for the cost of the drug, you were talking yeah. about $900. Yeah, I said, ouch, but when you compare yeah, it to 70 grand. To, I, I, t I asked the company about, you know, what do they have to say about the cost? And all they would say is most insurance plans cover it, and they also have some sort of assistance program uh, for their full state just head to our website, news10.com. Now, you looked at the numbers crunching those, but how about side effects on this? Well, just like any other drug, uh, all medications are going to have side effects. Sure. And, you know, some of the normal ones like nausea, vomiting, dizziness, that may come along. Those are potential side effects, but uh, if you want to check that out, I've listed all of that on the web article for this. And thank you to Sheriff Apple for letting us do this story and let, letting you in to do it. It's an important story. Yeah, and it's important to look at those numbers. It's been going on for almost a year now. So. And 90 percent success rate. That's amazing. All yep. right. Thank you, Trishna.